Hey Libra, welcome to another reading for you. All right, so let's start with this deck. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's find out what's going on in Libra, in love, in life, and everything in between. Oops, <laughs> this one wants to come out. Maturity. They want you to know they truly changed and inspired them to become a better person. Wow. You help someone grow, Libra. And feel safe hiding. Uh, hiding their feelings for fear of what happens next. It looks like you have, um, you have someone here who is thinking about you. But for the most part, not expressing how they feel, what they think. Um, because, you know, they don't know probably what your reaction would be or how you would deal with them this time. So most likely this is someone that you dealt with and um, probably there was a fallout or a distance that was created. Um, yeah, but I feel like, um, you know, during the time that you were not probably talking or something like that, you know, the past few weeks, this person has gotten some form of realization, Libra. Um, they have grown. <laughs> they have um, become more mature in their thinking and emotions, probably. Yeah? So they want you to know that they truly change. So who could this be? Let's find out in your tarot spread. What message do we have for Libra this time around? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, first card, Libra. Wow, are we busy, confused, not knowing which one to tackle first? For some of you, this is mainly, you know, just if you don't have anything about love right now, if you're rather more focused on other stuff, this could be you wondering, what are the things that um, you would be donating, letting go, you know, because it's almost the end of the year and it's good to clear out old stuff that you don't use in order to give way to new stuff, yeah? Similarly, in your feelings. If things are no longer, if, you know, people, connections or um, whatever you have in your life that are no longer serving you good, it's more of time to let go. Yeah. Clear out. Clearing of the air. Clear out spaces in order for good things, you know, to, to make space, to give way to new things that would come your way. At the bottom of the deck, we have strength. Strongly, I am getting Aries Leo energy in this spread. So that could be your other placements, or you could be dealing with someone, yeah, in the with those placements. Now, um, yes, in love, this is you, Libra. I feel that um, most likely. Um, you know that you could have a lot of options, several options, you know, just um, if you open up, you know, you could be saying that, yeah, if I really want it, I'm going to get it, you know, that sort of thing. But for the moment, you choose what you want to do, either focusing on your relationships or focusing on other areas in your life. But I feel like you're in the exploratory mode. Yeah, there is something that you're looking for that probably would make you happier and as of the moment you are at the point of yeah i'm just um searching exploring and living at the same time yeah? living your life on a day-to-day -day basis as per normal but in terms of what you're willing to commit what you're willing to put your time and effort into pursuing and all that this is something that you're kind of exploring because there's a little bit of blurry area right now that you're experiencing in love, if you're dealing with someone, Libra, um, I feel like you have someone who has stepped away for a while. Someone who has stepped away for a while. 
um, this could be somebody who just stopped connecting they wanted to do their own thing they don't want to be bothered um, or for some of you if you're dealing with someone with constant communication you feel like there is more to this than what this person is giving me that means that what they are showing you is not all it seems and you can feel that you know that and somehow that could probably make you feel confused at times but strongly i am getting that someone may have left the building and then um, took some time off from the connection from you and possibly this is where the maturity comes in if you faced or if you continued to do your own thing when they left you didn't chase you know you just didn't care as much now this person is somehow realizing that yeah being with libra libra inspires me libra makes me a better person and all that i don't know what's going on in your conversation by the way but it feels like there is a twist in this person's mindset being from you know just being away from you towards you the energy that they feel i feel like they are they do have feelings it's just that they cannot put it in words they can't label it they can't define it for now so this could be somebody liking you but in their heart they like you but in their mind it hasn't occurred yet in them you know they they could be longing to talk to you they could be thinking what you're doing and for them it's just like okay i'm just curious what she's doing or he, what he is doing what is libra doing right now but in reality it seems like this feeling that this person has it's not fully recognized yet at least on themselves yeah on their own they can't even recognize it but the feelings are there yeah, the feelings are there they just don't know how to either they don't know how to define it or they just don't probably want to express it for now due to some form of uncertainty or some form of history that you may have yeah. and they could even be thinking that yeah libra is done with me or libra is not happy anymore libra is no longer interested in me so no there is that um, feeling on their own on themselves that you have detached or that you could be holding them accountable of what they have done in the past like leaving or not being consistent or you know just not being true to the connection so they they can somehow they feel like we just don't care and um you just don't want to be bothered in terms of pursuing them when they left you know something like that and then I feel like for you, it's not that you don't really care. It's more like you are processing everything that is happening in your life. You think about it and um, you make sense out of it. So if this person has left, you could probably rationalize it, Libra. You could probably think that, yeah, this person has left because maybe it's not a good match. Or this person has left because they were not really interested. So it's good that they left earlier. You know, that sort of thing. You're trying to make peace with what has happened and um give some logic to it in order for you to be able to carry on yeah with your own life it seems like you still have a lot of things to to handle to make sense of yeah or to understand um could be in your love life or could even be in in your life in general could be your work could be your I don't know if you're spiritual it could also be your spiritual path you're trying to make sense of where are you heading what is this for you know why am i longing for this so you have a lot of questions there that are still left and answered now back to this person given the fact that um i feel like they they know that um you were probably interested with them in the beginning but now since you know things may not have been well given that they were running around with the seven of swords energy which is not very dependable which is not um, very consistent for the most part it could even be deceiving you know so you kind of okay Kalos, you're done with it yeah it could have been a two of cups in the beginning 
when you open up to them but as of the moment it feels like you know that there is no support in this person there's no communication or there's no proper connection that you could really think about or focus on and they know that they can tell that you are feeling that way so for some of you you could also be dealing with a pisces or a scorpio a very intuitive individual because however you feel right now this person feels it too yeah now the next step the next step they're gonna do is um possibly you will hear from them page of wands pages are messengers they poke you they send you messages they they let you know that they exist they let you know that they want to do the things that you also do or perhaps if they know that you have activities that you want to do they would be more inclined to do it with you especially with the ones the fires action oriented excitement so i feel like you will likely be getting a message you will be hearing from this person with a more vibrant um exciting type of energy from them and um the outcome we have the magician and of course this is a person just imagine if this person calls in and the outcome is the magician that means that the message the call the initiation that they're going to bring in is more about them opening up the door towards you to manifest new things with you so it looks like whoever this is that made you confused, that probably has left away, left the horizon, left the building, or may have been even a little bit deceiving. Or that it's not necessarily that their intention is to deceive you, but more of whatever they're showing you is not the whole package. It's not everything that they can do. It's not everything that um, what their intentions are, you know. It's likely because this person could be emotional or could have some feelings and they also don't want to get hurt. So there is that, you know, for there is that type of energy too. Somebody who could be deep in their emotions or can get emotional in, in connection, right? In connecting with someone. So in the beginning, the way they protect themselves is to just give you whatever they think they want to give you information um, attention and all that but i feel like they're hiding their feelings um, for fear of what happens next so for some of you too this is someone that you really had a good connection and then all of a sudden or or it just didn't pan out well um but for you libra i don't feel that there is that um pain or something like that it's more like you're confused rather than you're hurt it's more like you're confused and to think if this person is actually hiding their feelings it's because they're afraid of what's going to happen next so they hide their feelings libra just let it go and you'll hear from them again because somebody who has feelings will not likely stop at any point yeah until they are able to express they are able to see what's going to happen next of course there could be fear but curiosity as a human being will still be there and it's a good thing because they want you to know that they truly change and inspire them to become a better person so you have also helped this person understand some parts in their life probably during your conversation or during the time that you were connecting with each other let's find out any messages for libra from this person We drawn second thoughts and growing closer need to talk okay so yeah they have been they have withdrawn from you but um you know there is that going back and forth with the idea of withdrawing or getting closer to you for some of you this person the more they have withdrawn the more they felt more connected with you does that make sense the more they have withdrawn, the more... Probably it's not because they are withdrawn just for the sake of withdrawing, but because this person is resisting. However they feel towards you, they were trying to resist. And the more you resist, whatever you resist persists. Yeah? <laughs> so the more they resist, the more they feel like, yes, I could really be wanting to get closer to Libra. All right. 
more messages for Libra. Happiness and higher self. You are entering a period of happiness and fulfillment in your life. Nothing will stand in your way. This is a very beautiful Libra. This is tantamount to the sun card in the tarot. It's happiness, vibrancy, you know, and you're, you are entering the, ha the period of happiness and fulfillment in your life. So whatever you're doing, if it makes you happy, carry on. Because I feel like that is where you are truly heading at this point. And nothing will stand in your way. You might even feel some blockage. You might even feel anything that would, or anything or anyone who would want to go against the current just to um, make it a little bit difficult for you. But then here on the card, it says nothing will stand in your way. Now, you are in alignment with your higher self. Honing in your beauty and owning your uniqueness. This is also saying that as you walk through your path um, towards happiness and fulfillment, that means you continue to be fulfilled, to have that positive vibe on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, it may not be day-to-day, -day, but um, just more of letting you know that if things are hard around this time or are, are challenging, that's not going to last. That's just a phase. Yeah, because you are about to enter into um, a more calm situation. Possibly for some of you, if you've been working um, on some endeavors and some ambitions, goals, or fixing your issues in your family and all that. If, if it's been going on for years and years and years, possibly this is a message for you to say that Maybe that's that part is ending. That life cycle is is um ending, and then now it's it's just time for you to, uh, walk towards a path of I've I've done everything I could, and this is what I am reaping right now. So that is, that is just the um, energy I am getting for you. I'm gonna leave it at that, Libra, and um, let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.